Hello and welcome back to another Female Filmmaker Friday. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you click this little button here to subscribe. My name is Kate Hackett. I'm an actor, writer, and a producer here in Los Angeles. And if you are not new to this channel, give this video a big thumbs up and please consider joining me at katehackett.com slash patronage because I have worn every single shirt that I own in one of these videos and I need to buy more. So one of my more popular videos was the five day jobs for actors and writers and a lot of you guys had some strong opinions about what makes for a good day job. So I wanted to share with everybody what seven things I actually look for when I am hunting for a good survival job as a creative. look for is for the job to be as flexible as possible because as an actor I don't really get much say in when I have an audition so I need to be able to take off at a moment's notice and not have a problem. The second thing that I look for is reliability. If I'm doing this job just for a paycheck I need to make sure that I am actually getting a paycheck at the end of the week or month or however often I'm getting paid. It can't really be all loosey-goosey because that's what my creative job is. Third thing that I look for in a survival job is time. Most obviously, I don't want my survival job to be taking up all of my time. I wanna be able to spend my energy on my creative endeavors, so that means the job needs to not come home with me, and I'm probably not gonna be working in a traditional mandatory office, nine to five, because that means I'm gonna miss auditions. The next thing that I look at is the money. Am I making ends meet? Uh, it's kind of a delicate balance. I want to make just enough money to pay my bills and have a little fun and live comfortably, but not quite enough money to make the day job more attractive than the creative job. <laughs> the other thing that I look for with money is, am I spending too much on my day job? So for example, a two hour commute from Glendale to Santa Monica is an unrealistic thing for a day job. Uh, ride shares typically wind up costing you money because you have these hidden costs of gas and repairs to your car and that kind of thing. So make sure that you aren't actually spending to work at your day job and that's cutting into the money that you bring home every week. The next thing I look at is my mental energy. If I am too drained at the end of the day to work on my acting or writing, I'm probably not in the right day job. I would either need to cut back a little bit or I would need to find something different because the reason I moved here is not the day job. The next thing that I look for is can I leave quickly? Can I quit quickly? Not just be flexible, can I take off some time here and there? It's can I quit quickly? You need to make sure that you can actually leave in the event that something really exciting happens and you're on a TV show for three seasons. And then the last thing that I ask myself is do I like it? Do I love it? I can like it. I hope you do like your day job. That makes your day job a whole lot less painful. But I can't love it. I don't want to fall in love with my day job. I need to enjoy it enough, survive on it, but not fall in love. So what do you guys think? Which of these is really important? Are there any that you would leave out? Leave me a comment down below. And if you would like to help support me make videos like this or narrative videos, which is really the whole reason I'm out here, please consider joining me on katehackett.com slash patronage. I do have a Patreon, it's the same thing. Um, patronage is the one that I run, so I like it better. So uh, yeah, see you next time.